No big deal, uh, Ian Parker so far three for three on his championship bets, which means Parker's perfect parlay is still alive. And now we'll take a look at the Bud Light tale of the tape. Julia Bud is 12 years older than her opponent, Aspen Ladd. She's also two inches taller, has a significant nine inch reach advantage on the arms, but only one on the legs. Miguel Flores, to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue the action in the PFL Smart Cage, and it will be a showcase contest in the women's featherweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, she is a mixed martial artist standing five feet, eight inches tall. She weighed in at 146 pounds. With 16 victories, including seven wins by stoppage, opposite of four defeats, fighting out of Port Moody, British Columbia, Canada, here is Julia the Jewel And now introducing her opponent in the red corner. She is a grappler, standing at five feet, six inches tall. She weighed in at 145 and one half pounds. With nine victories, opposite of three defeats, including seven wins by stoppage. Fighting out of El Dorado Hills, California, making her PFL debut. Here is Espen And the referee in charge is Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson to over the, oversee the action. Three five-minute rounds, a non-title showcase featherweight bout between Aspen Ladd in the gray Am and Julia Budd in the red. Both these ladies with knockout power, six knockouts apiece. So far, a feeling out process early. Yeah, both ladies trying to establish that jab. Julie Budd said she really wanted to take it to Aspen, bring some pressure, test her out in this first round, see how she responds. Good combination there from Julia Budd, but Aspenland catches the kick and elevates the left leg of Julia Budd, who rolls all the way through. Aspen's gonna take that back though. She has both hooks now. She's gonna slip her head out. That will bring her right to the back of Julia Budd, where she can attack with the choke. Julia Budd's gotta hang on to that headlock. That's her lifeline right now. Yeah, she, starts, she needs to start prying those legs out as well. She's Aspen. gonna lose that head position. There it is. Ladd got all the way out, now has the back of Julia Budd. Ladd believed this is the difference. This was going to be the difference in this fight against Julia Budd was the grappling on the ground. Julia trying to go for that ankle lock where the, those legs cross. Don't think she's going to be able to get it there, Aspen. There, nice job, gets her hips out. Ladd doing a nice job of staying on top, keeping those hooks. Yeah, all he's going to flatten her out here. Ladd going to work with the right hand. And it's softening her up. Julia Budd trying to build her base again. Ladd staying aggressive on top. On the back of Julia Budd. Big left hands coming down from the top, and Budd will elect to stand up, try and shake the monkey out of the tree. That's a little high, but she's locked into the back of that leg. That's going to hold her in position, keep her from sliding off the top. It's going to be tough for Budd to come out the back door there. Bud does a good job of reaching up and grabbing the head of Aspen Ladd. She needs to remove those legs, see if she can stand up, start to kind of peel those legs off a little bit or extend one of her legs to that just yeah, like that. Just, I just swim out of one right there. Trying to swim out of the other one. She needs to try to stand up tripod first and then do it. Doesn't quite have the space. Yep. 
Brad continuing to try and control that left arm of Julia Budd. Well, it got rid of one hook. But it's on the Cade side that doesn't do it. They almost got rid of the second hook. Watch the back end. Yeah, this is what she needs to do, try to stand up and just shake a little bit. But she can't shake her off if she has both knees on the floor. She has to get her knees off the floor, then she can shake her off. She's a little bit too tight to be trying to pry her legs out a little bit. There's Ante Dillia, last year's heavyweight runner-up. One of three more title fights to come will be our heavyweight championship. He'll face Mateusz Scheffel in a rematch from earlier in our regular season. This is a much better position here for Julia Budd. Nice job by Julia Budd. Works her way out of that adversity and finds herself in top position with only one minute left in this round. Oh, that with a nice sweep. Beautiful. Her way out. Beautiful butterfly guard sweep now with the head and arm. Use a combination of the butterfly and the headlock to, to change positions. Yeah, that was sweet. Now Bud trying to triangle her legs, control the head of Aspen Lad. Lad to north south. Aspen just staying very calm. Keeping her position, she's got the shoulder control right in the hips of Julia Bud. Julia's gonna have to frame and try to sneak that knee in on the inside of the armpit or inside of the arms of Aspen Ladd. And she's gonna run out of time here. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, Jules. Ladd will finish this round on top of Julia Bud. Three seconds. A successful first five minutes of her PFL debut. Ready to rock here in round two, Randy. Emma, you ready? Absolutely. That Emma, sequence started Fight. by a high kick, got caught by Ladd, that led her into the takedown to take her back. Yeah, Julia had that kick go up a little bit too high, allowed Aspen to trap it and hit that takedown. Curious to see if she's going to be a little bit more cautious with her shot selection there on those kicks. And Randy, I've been really impressed with the composure of Aspen Ladd here. You know, she's stayed very calm. Really, facial expression never really changes much. Yeah, very composed. You'd think that there was Fedor's sister out yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The body lock here, she's trying to catch a leg. Aspen Ladd got a really good, very tight body lock. Everybody did a nice job of hand control and re-pummeling. Ladd makes another adjustment, but re-pummels. Yeah, Julia doing a good job of getting that underhook. And it was interesting, when we were talking to both these ladies, it seemed like they both had the same game plan. They felt that they had the better wrestling. They were looking to try to impose their grappling advantage. And uh, so far, it's been Aspen Ladd who's got the better, but Julia trying to even the odds here in round two. You can see those live odds swinging back and forth as this bout develops. Ladd at one point when she was on the back of Bud was a bigger favorite than she is right now at minus 500. Good clinch here from Julia Bud. Yeah, these are beautiful knees here from that tie plum. Undefeated two-time champion, Kayla Harrison, getting wrapped up as her main event championship bout draws closer at Madison Square Garden in the Hoosier Theater. That's got to bring her hips in, capture the hips of Julia Budd if she wants that takedown. She's got her power, her hips way too far back. Now it's Julia who's pressuring Aspen up against the cage. Take a listen inside the red corner of Aspen Lab. Let's go, Aspen! Aspen, let's go! Get to a single! 
Slide your left on your down to the single leg. Outside pick, Al. Huh? Outside pick. Lance Corner asking for her to slide that underhook down and grab a single leg as they exchange knees in this clinch. Less than two minutes in the second round. Up high single, that in on a high single, head inside. Nice job using her shin, guard that off. Keep Lad's hips from walking in. Good knee up the middle there from Bud. Lad trying to redouble her efforts for a takedown. Yeah, Julia does a, has done a great job in the clinch in round two, landing some nice knees to the body here. Left hand from Ladd on the exit. She wades right back in with strikes. That was a nice right hand there from Aspen Ladd. Another clinch. Excellent strength on display here from Aspen Ladd. Turning the powerful Julia Budd and placing her back against the smart cage barrier. Good flurry from Lab. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Aspen Ladd and Julia Budd clinched up. Exchanging knees. We will see a third round. Third and final round in this featherweight showcase bout. Julia Budd, Aspen Ladd. Mamma, you ready? Mamma, you ready? Fight. FPR favors Julia Budd in round number two. Yeah, so it could very well come down to this round here. Nice combination by Lag. Active with her hands. She puts together really nice flurries, but a good one too from Julia Budd to respond. Corner of Bud saying no more kicks. They don't want him to get caught and have her push back against the cage. Good left hand from Ladd. Yeah, and that's what made her susceptible to that takedown in round one. Exactly. It cost her that round for sure. And who knows how it would have been, what would have unfolded otherwise, but Julia has definitely found a lot of success with that tie clinch. We'll bring Dan Hardy in watching live in London, see what he thinks of this featherweight showcase. Dan? Double leg, lads in deep. You know, I think we see, I think we see a real improvement in Julia Budd's wrestling, but she's making bad decisions with her footwork. She's finding herself trapped up against the fence, and she's allowing Aspen Lad to get her hands on her and stay in the clinch. You know, she's landed some good knees, but ultimately Julia Budd needs to separate. She needs to pitch grand strike. And that's where she's had most success. That is a very handsome and coherent Dan Hardy for 3.12 a.m. <laughs> London time. <laughs> Thanks for staying the up with us, Dan on. Hardy. <laughs> Fights are on indeed. <laughs> Kenny, I got another good news, bad news situation, especially for Dan. Uh, good news is we have three more title fights. He <laughs> 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 said it's going to be 5 a.m. by the time they're over. I hope he got a nap in today. Julia Budd finding a home for her right hand. Doing what she's got to do. She's starting to let her hands go with it. Trying to stay out at that range where she can use that reach advantage. Let's Ladd wade into the fray and into the pocket. Ladd lets those combinations go on the right inside. Down the middle, Julia. Right down the middle. There you go. Stay Double the right hand scoring there. Right down the middle, Julia. Fucking 
Two of them, you good. Keep it there. Keep the center of the cage, girl. Yes, Kenny, yes. Kenny, otherwise hey, very hey, close hey. fight. It's one, always two, interesting one, to two. see how judges, one, if yes, we get yes. to the scorecard, yes, you, you view go. the forward pressure Stop. and the backward Stop. movement. Sometimes you get rewarded for being the aggressor. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's all going to come down to really the impact of the strikes and how the judges see that. But certainly, we see outside judges big. favor fighters who are moving forward, who are landing shots, versus the other fighter who's moving back, landing shots. So Aspen, very smart to press forward here against Julia Budd. Good work by Budd to get herself off the cage one more time here. There's a look through the ref cam. Keith Peterson overseeing the action inside of two minutes. This is definitely a Julia Budd who's been working on her jab. She's been much sharper this fight with it. Catches Ladd coming in with the jab. You can tell she's the longer fighter. It's counter by Bud. Here's the outside pick that Lad's corner's calling for. He's got the underhook on that other side. Inside of one minute. Final 60 seconds here. Oh, nice right hand up from Bud, and she grabs the clinch, throws a knee up the middle. Aspen Ladd once again presses Julia Bud up against the cage. A display of strength again from the younger fighter. Spinning back fist is blocked. Aspen Ladd continuing to move forward. Good one, two again from Julia Budd and a hook from Aspen Ladd. Yeah, they're getting busier here at the end of this round. It's final Very 10 close. seconds. Swinging away to the final bell. Aspen Ladd and Julia Budd giving the fans here at Hoodoo Theater their money's worth. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Tim Carrado saw it 29 to 28 for Ladd. Judge Sal Diamato saw the contest 29 to 28 for Bud. And Judge Dave Torelli sees the contest 29 28 for your winner by split decision, Aspen Ladd. Aspen Ladd edges out a split decision over Julia Bud in her PFL debut.